I just want a good game to cast against T Fuzz and SYG. In the bottom right corner of Entombed Valley, this will be a win to Liberty Protoss by the name of SYG. He came in here as random, but the only thing that's not random about this match is the Terran player. To fuzz. To fuzz. To fuzz. To fuzz. -da. I don't know why you people come up with names like that. I. Like Apparition, you know, or, uh. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty cool name. I mean, if you ever find a, guy, a name, a guy named Apparition, I would definitely talk to him. But, uh, to fuzz, I don't know. I don't know. And SYG, it's like, that stands for something. You know what's up. But, uh, no. I don't know why the gas came before the gateway, unless there's a proxy oracle going to happen, though. And Terran not walling at all. You gotta save those supply depots, apparently. I don't know if I agree with that. Just a little bit of building placement tips. Wall against Protoss is a nice thing, even in Wings of Liberty. It doesn't hurt to do. Against Terran, you want early gas only if you're going for some like you want a gas that's before gateway only if you're going for something really crazy I do do the two oh what are you doing no 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 don't do that don't do that SYJ gotta get the cyber core immediately after gateway finishes 13 gate 17 core or well 9 pylon 13 gate 17 pylon 17 core and there's a 14 or a 15 gas rather thrown in there as well and your entire opening is set. Now if you want to go for a double gas proxy opening, or proxy oracle, or if you want to go for the stalker mothership core pressure that I like to do against Peter Terran on almost every map, then you go for double gas at 15 as well, and then pull two workers off around 120 gas. But I don't see that too often. Maybe, maybe I'm just an innovator. But SYG, maybe he's an innovator. He has the probes already at the door. They were waiting. It was Christmas for them. They got the gas. And I don't know why June 10th is the Christmas, but I know there's Christmas in July. I don't know about June. I do know that we have an engineering bay coming out, as well as the second gas from Terran. He does not have an orbital command. Why don't you have an orbital command? I don't know. Why are you taking the second gas? I don't know. Are you going to planetary rush? You are getting an engineering bay. I don't know. Uh, warp gate has started though. He is going to go for the Twilight Council. Will we see a DT rush? He will. Where's... Oh, his pylon's in the back. This is something that I actually even forget to do. If you are going for some kind of hit and tech, you can't always throw that pylon back here. It is harder to start, especially in these uh, positions. But uh, we will just have to wait and see the Terran player getting a second engineering bay, not doing anything with the first. The APM, what is the APM command? Ah, oh, I'm so bad at casting, it's M, I thought it was M. We have zero APM for Terran. He, he's, he's trying to just, like, sit in here. Now, now he's finally moving, I'm just following his screen right now. This is kind of hard to watch, but you know what, everybody starts somewhere. Dark Shrine has go, gone down for Mr. SYG, though we will probably see a third gate. Uh, we haven't seen one just yet, and I think that Stalker, it's almost blocked out. There's a much more efficient way of doing the Dark Templar rush that I, I mean, I've, I've done it so many times. PvP, it's kind of a staple thing for me. I hate the matchup. No matter how many weird things I do, and how many times I say I'm only proxying, or only doing this or that, I just, I, I don't know. I, I get some bad luck proxy games, or that we proxy each other, and then it turns really weird. And in other games, everything goes well, or I 4 gates, or I 4 gate Zealot Rush, whatever it is. But uh, if you're DT rushing, first of all, that needs to be back here, because now this Marine is the luckiest Marine alive, and he's going into the... What? What? SYG! SYG! You sur... SYG! That Marine got two kills. He is a very successful Marine. But the thing is, is that in bronze, not being rude at all, but people don't know how to react once they scout. He saw the Dark Shrine on the way. I don't even think he clicked on it. He doesn't have an orbital, and he doesn't have missile turrets. What do you do? Die to anything that is stealth. Anything that is flying. Anything at all. Because this Terran... Well, that probe's dead. This Terran is also floating 1,500 minerals. That's not what you do. At all. Please. No. These Marines are just going to keep coming up here, and they are just going to die to Stalkers and Zealots. 
four kills on these stalkers. That's actually quite a bit. Two Dark Templars being warped in here. Easily, easily, easily could have been warped in over here if there was a proxy pylon. Just a bit of retrospect for you. And as well, if you are going for the DT rush, go for three gates. Why are you making that an Archon? S-Y-G. S-Y-G. Ah. Ah. It's all right, though. Your, your, your friend over here has 26 out of 67 supply. He's building a factory, finally, and he has 800 minerals. So, while well, people make mistakes, oh my god, I thought that was what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, we're going to have this Archon. He's going to kill a lot of Marines. I'm going I'm to say, this Archon, I'm going to give him... A, I'm going to give him... 10 kills, okay? Now, if I win that bet, I'm amazing. If I lose that bet, nothing really happens. We do know that the Terran player is up by about 4 supply. That comes from the 4 Marines in production, as well as the 8 queued up already. 8 in total queued up. The natural going down for our Protoss player, though, was just scanned. Will the Terran react? He will send out a total of 8 Marines. Eight Marines dies to, to to this, I believe, to two Stalkers and a Zealot. I don't know how well Eight Marines can really fight that, even. When there's an Archon mixed in, and anything else that could be warped in off of five gateways when you have a Dark Shrine and Cybercore, please warp something in. You're now supply blocked. <laughs> it happens. It's gonna be okay. Honestly, though, if you are going for a very far, very quick Dark Templar build, use them to harass. You could have easily just won the game straight out from there. We do see the Orbital finally coming from the Terran player has scanned once. But he could have had that up a lot sooner. Could have been making some mules, making some more cash, money, yo, dog. And now actually having a 16 marine count, that is kind of substantial. We don't have a Mother Shakur in Winds of Liberty, so you got to remember that. And that is something, so if I, if I recommend anything from Heart of the Swarm, it's not my fault. I mean, put it simply, man, it's not my fault. These Marines are going to truck it over to the Protoss space. That one Zealot's going to die a very terrible death, but will the Archons... This is our hero Archon right here. He will have 10 kills, I swear to you, or he'll just stay in the back. What are you doing, Mr. Archon? Uh, the Dark Templars are getting kills. He does have two... No! That was upsetting. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Mr. Archon. I cursed him. Use your Dark Templars to harass! We do have the 2-2 coming out from Terran. And there's not a Forge for our, for our friend over here also getting blinked when he's going Dark Templars. You're not going to be able to afford that, my friend. Siege mode! Siege tech has started! I haven't seen that! in a very long time, even in the couple of Winds Liberty games that I have casted, I just I just haven't seen that in a really long time. I mean, I'm just going to say it now. And if you do see a lot of Marines like this, and later on, if he does see the Siege Chains that come out, then definitely would suggest our Charge Lot Archon over Templars. And there's no response to any of this. One of the Archons did go down, I believe, unless he only had the one here. This Archon, this Archon has three kills. These are Templar though. One, one, three, and two. Okay, they're not doing too bad for themselves. You know the Stalker's pretty good as well. Just gonna keep making Dark Templars. I don't think I've ever seen that many Dark Templars warped in by the 13 minute mark unless the game had already ended. So there's that little, that little mark. We do have a base over... What? Why? Why didn't he just take the natural? What? Why? <laughs> okay, so the one one for the vehicles coming out, and you gotta remember in Wind's Liberty that the armor upgrade only affects vehicles, does not affect those Vikings, but I don't think we'll see any Robo versus Viking play anytime soon. Five Dart Templars are going to try to run up into the Terran's base. There's no energy here, and there are no missile turrets. Just run in, please. Usually you want to split your army, but not today, because all these units are going to die in one hit. Actually, the plus one armor making it so that the, the Marines stay alive for two hits does actually slow down the advancement of these Dart... What? Just, just attack. You just have to A-move right now. You A-move and win the game right now! <laughs> 
Okay, going for the orbital command, actually, it does still not have enough energy. SCV's trying to repair it. Just a- what are you- just a move! Just hit the A move! SYJ! Actually, do these stay alive? Yeah, these stay alive for two hits as well. That is- that is something that I forgot. I forgot how much health they actually have. Just stop you stop moving these units, please. Just just a move. Just a move. Just a move. There you go. Stan will wear out, and that means that the Marines are just going to die a terrible death. And uh SYG is not making anything back at home. This is something you gotta do. Would like to see the plus one attack upgrade at this point since he has basically already won the game. The worker count is at five for our Terran player and thirty-two for our Protoss player. Not killing that SCV. He's just, they just left him here to suffer. That is just cruel, SYG. How could you do such a thing? The last missile turret going down. Terran's at 36 minerals. He is making a raven, but he is going to lose his main base and all of his workers. And also has two workers. He Two workers. Well, rather three. Okay, I, I moused right over that one and didn't acknowledge that it was coming out. Killing off the tuck lab. Will he kill the starport in time? Uh, it doesn't look like you will. I don't know. This could actually change things quite a bit. Does it get out? It gets out right at the end. The Raven is out. The Dark Templar can be seen. They do all die miserable deaths. They only kill one Marine. Why are they attacking one Marine? Just a move. It is a very simple command. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be rude, but come on, man. I believe he killed something that canceled something, because he just had a lot of minerals out of nowhere. He has one SCV working right now, though we do have the plus one or armor started for the Protoss player. Not get, not using his gases at his natural. Not spending 3,000 minerals. Oh God, this hurts. Not trying to be mean, but come on now. You just, you just gotta let things go. You just gotta, you just can't float. If you're floating that many minerals, take an expansion, throw down some gateways, make sure all your warpins are being used on cooldown if you're floating that much, because there's no reason not to. And just make a lot of zealots, made some stalkers, made some robo units, made some more dark templars. You seem to have that going for you. Four archons on the field and two stalkers. That army, that is a very strange composition for an army. I will be honest, but we do have two cannons warping in over here. I'm not sure why. If you're going to have cannons, it's always best to have them on the sides and drop paths. But you're not going to expect drops when you killed the starport and everything that the Terran held near and dear to his heart. He has 86 minerals, he has 5 SCVs, he doesn't even have a 6, six blah, blah, blah. and he's not making that alone. Why are you making that many cannons? Where are these even being made at? What are... That's why, gee... Ah, we're gonna speed through this just a bit. It, 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 ah, I like... You're cool, we've had some good times, but what are you doing? What 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 are you doing? Just just come on, man. Come on, man. Do you have charge on the way? It's always nice. Could have had that a lot sooner though, especially if those gases were being used. There goes the gateway. Somebody was listening to the stream because he just threw down a lot of gateways. Best thing to do though would be able to take a third because there's no reason not to. Could just cl go close out the game with this army. A lot of low level players are too are either too overzealous or way too too um, cautious, that's the word I'm looking for. And you never want your production bar to be absolutely zero. It does have 10 or 5 Archons warping in though. You know, Dark Templars are so yesterday. That is a lot of Archons. That is, what, 12 Archons are with this army. That's more than any other unit. Except for maybe Stalkers now. Yeah, okay, the Stalker count is, has actually grown in since that last warping. Spending a lot of his resources as he took the third, as he got his 1-2, I believe? Is that the... that's 1, right? Yeah, 1-2 upgrades on the way, his net, his third base on the way, his next warp in, warping in again. That is how you macro more effectively. Yes, one, until you get that third base well saturated, you won't be able to... Uh, continuously produce off of uh, off uh, 11 gates. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. But you'll be all right. Oh, uh, uh, that's my reaction to that. I'm sorry. A lot of things here, like I'm being more like, oh, as I move my camera, like I'm being more like active and stuff here, and then I'm like, oh wait, I didn't forget the camera on this time. So I'm just doing this for my own enjoyment. Again, it's been a few days. I'm. I want to come back and just roar.
I'm coming back in a blaze of glory. Not going out, not going down, but coming back. It made sense, trust me. It, at the end of all things, though, Terran, Terran stand his 3-3, while our Protoss player is getting his 2-1. That's a little bit awkward, because that's a lot of Marines. Thing is, is they don't have Stim, they don't have combat shields, they don't have anything other than one medevet to support them, one Raven, it's definitely not going to do the job. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure that this is going to go too well for the Terran player, seeing as how we have even more Archons going to be on the way, because I know he won't use, use Star Templars, and he has so many Zealots, and then, then the Stalkers can just blink. They can just, you know, blink in and out, they'll do whatever they want. Please move these workers. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. 47 to 41. How did the Terran make that many workers? How long? How long have I been gone? He. This game. SYG. Just go close out the game, man. Just go do it. Just go do it. Just go do it. We're going to say that for the next few minutes until he actually just goes and does it. Just go do it, man. Do it. No balls. Go do it. Go do it, man. No balls. No balls as we speed this up to eight. Come on. You don't have to mats out to win a game. Yes, you are Protoss, but that does not... That, that does not say uh, always the thing. Starting his plus three armor, which will be nice, but... Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Uh, the plus three armor will be on the way, but the Terran is getting 2-2 for vehicles, he's getting siege chains on the way, he does already have that siege tech. You're going to let the... T the Terran had nine SC... he had one SCV, and 36 minerals, and he's already up to 135 supplies, something's wrong there. SYG, what the hell did you do? Those tanks aren't sieged yet, just go in. Oh god, this army is going to just be completely crushed. Look at those zealots. Yes, the marines do have the higher upgrades, but the siege chain friendly fire, as well as just the natural- oh, what are you- no! Just blink the stalkers! Oh god! This army taking a lot of losses that it doesn't need to take, but it looks like it will clear it out. Everything focusing down the taints with every single unit. No, you only needed to blink the stalkers onto the taints. He might actually lose this fight. He's bringing down more Marines from the rally. The Archon's trying to do damage. Actually, it looks like the Protoss player will finally come out on, on top there. That was a lot closer than it should have been for a Terran that was at one worker and 36 minerals at one point. But hey, I won't judge. It's uh, so, so, what, what is even going on anymore? I am highly confused. As he kills off some more workers, the workers lost have showing 35 have been killed by the Protoss, as well as 175 units. That number is growing very rapidly. He mass repaired the barracks to save it, and he lost all of his SCVs up here. So that that that's something. That's a thing. There goes more and more. Those zaps just sound like they hurt a lot. Plus three weapons is about to kick him. Why are you getting Vikings? Out of any unit you could get right now, he gets Vikings. Yeah, you gotta you got counter those Colossi. Um, Mr. Mr. SYG, you have nine warp dates that are not, or uh, rather, eleven warp dates that are not being used, and you don't have your shields on the way either. Already got plus one shields at some point, and I just did not notice it. He's getting two Vikings. I thought he had one starport and a reactor. No, that is too, too difficult, or too easy, rather. Now, this is the... This is the complicated way that you gotta do it. That starter, that starter, no! And now only the Archons survive. The tank, cleaning up the stalker. He's not doing anything, and he has somehow amassed 4,000 minerals. This is what happens in Bronze League games. Not being rude, but come on, guys. So instead, instead of, you know, just killing stuff, he's going to land the Viking. He might, he almost killed an Archon. That's the funny thing. Archon regenerating its health very quickly, though. Six barracks have been drawn down in production, because he couldn't have done that, you know, an hour earlier. He has to do it right now, and then makes a massive wall of, of supply depots. That's going to go up no problem. Still, all he did do a warp in, and that's the only one that we've seen. All of these are back up. Uh... The Archons aren't being microed effectively against those supply depots, and that means if there's no if there's no supply depot micro, how can you expect to win as the Protoss player? Come on! Come on! 
The 334, the Terran vehicles, will never be finished. He... What the... How... Okay, I forgot the plus 8... Or, I mean, 8 times speed goes 8 times as fast, because he made a lot of Marines really quickly. He also is flying his orbital to the left. And why make any other units when you can just make Archons? Like, I love the use of no robo. I hate Robotech. I'm one of those Protosses. But this is a bit excessive, I'm sorry. Not even an Observer, no Warp Prism, no no Immortal, you know, busting through, no Colossus. Colossus is a thing I heard. And uh, to bust through this double Supply Depot wall, I don't know what he's going to have to do. How long does this go on for? Only a couple more minutes. Oh my... Like, like okay. I get made fun of uh, by my friends for, for the way I said Archons once a long time ago. And... This is the most Archons I have seen since then. But now they're Zealots, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Everything's good. Yeah. You know what, you know what was cool about this Supply Depot wall? One Colossus. And everything's gone. One Tempest. Is he, is he just sacking this base? He's just going to let this fall? Or... What are you... It hurts. It hurts, man. It hurts. These, these Marines have been left for dead and then some. They're just going to be zapped away. Are they actually going to kill an Archon? That's upsetting. And now, these Archons kind of were just sent to their death. A few of them returning. But, uh, the way that Mr. SYG has been handling this, I'm not sure if he's actually going to be able to kill that many Marines. Thing is, if he kills all those Marines, then Terran can't macro at all. Assuming that SYG doesn't wait to get to mats yet again. What will happen? Find out right about... Do something. You don't have stim. I continuously forget that, so that means that this army is going to just be completely crushed. He's focusing down the supply depots. The Marines are right here. The Zealots aren't in front. They're going to be trapped. The Arch These are! Move, Command! What are you doing? No! No! Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Why? That, uh... That, uh... That army. Yeah, if he had stim, that, uh, that would have went really badly for Mr. SYG. But no, no, no. He just sat there, made a little bit of a bonfire, danced around it, and there wasn't flames or anything, there was only, there was only the death and decay of the inter oh, God. That was hard to watch. I'm sorry, but thank you, thank you for whatever that was.